What you guys got another video here for you. This one's on how to remove adware and toolbars from your computer system. Now, toolbars and adware has been around for a long time and it seems to be uh, infecting a lot of PCs, browsers and stuff like that because it comes bundled in a lot of freeware software. And as you can see, this is a, a typical example in Internet Explorer of uh, some toolbars on the system. Now you may be thinking I could just close these off like this and click on these crosses and they'll be gone. But they'll be still on the system and they'll be still there and, you, and it can chug up the uh, browser. And also these are all full of ads and stuff like that and redirects and, and God knows what else. And Ask um, Search is one of the biggest ones at the moment that comes bundled in a lot of software. And if you don't uh, take the tick out it will get installed. And once you get one they start to install other stuff. Screen savers, smileys. You know, I've seen these all the way down the browser, full up with uh, rubbish, and they wonder why their PC is slow. They can hardly see the viewing window of what they're surf uh, searching for. So we've got options here to go to Tools and um, Manage Add-ons, and you can go to Toolbar and Extensions here and, and actually disable them. But I want to get them off the system completely, all the registry keys, all the files, everything else. I just want to remove everything from the system and sometimes this doesn't really cut the mustard. So let's have a look at um, Firefox just for a difference of opinion on browsers and as you can see here we've got a load of uh, actual toolbars on here as well and that's what happens if you've got two or three toolbars on the system it will actually just in install it on both of them and as you can see here pretty much it's done it on both now this is not really bad as I said I've seen it a lot worse before here you can go to tools add-ons and you get the option to go to extensions here and what it will do allow you to disable or remove them but again it doesn't really do a great thorough job so let's um close that off Now also you can do by going to control panel and programs and features this is Windows 7 so if you come in here you'll get the option to uninstall right but again it really uh, isn't far enough for me um, I like to do a lot more than that and sometimes that doesn't always work as well you don't allow you to uninstall them properly so there is a couple of options we've got some free programs available to us one of them is this program here um, it's uh, called Spy BHO Remover and as you can see it's going to allow you to click on these uh, it gives you some sort of traffic like red suspicious and, and uh, need analysis and stuff like that and uh, good but why it's saying these are good I don't know because I don't want them on the system so really you can just remove them by just clicking on this route, remove I prefer this tool here now this is my one of my favorite tools for this type of job and ADW cleaner it's by this French guy and uh, I'll tell you what it, it does a pretty good job and all you need to do here is click on search and as you can see it's give you a big readout services you can come through here and have a look folders and files and it tells you where all these files are located program files and stuff like that and as you can see here the registry again laden with all this adware and crap that you want to get off the system it finds all those files and we'll move on down to the next part here in uh, internet browsers internet explorer and as you can see there's loads of areas that may get um, untouched by the uh, disabling of these um, toolbars so using this type of program is very good and as you can see there's a lot of stuff there now all I need to do now is close this off and then click on delete and I'm going to say OK and it's now going to start deleting those from my system OK some wanted programs or adware and that means we may need to run some other scans with some other software as well because obviously there may be some uh, programs that I want to remove like uh, IncrediMail I definitely want to remove speed up your computer also 
um, some of these other programs I do Reg Clean Pro and all that sort of stuff I do want to remove those so we're going to click OK and now it wants to restart so we'll quickly restart OK we're going to let this load in OK so here we are at the desktop and it stopped and deleted those services now it leaves you a nice log file so it lets you know what's going on and these are really important so as you can see it gives you an idea of what's gone on and what's been deleted on the system okay so I'm going to quickly close this off okay so let's now find out what's going on with the browser so let's open up Internet Explorer as you can see that's been reduced but there is still stuff on the system so let's uh, reduce some of this stuff off and remove it from the system okay so let's uh, go to control panel and uh, programs and features and find out what else is left inside here and I can see one more that's definitely going to be gone we'll stop that scan another bloatware and crap that you want off the system so I'm just going to uninstall this one sweet packs that seem to have got missed which is not a big problem just going to remove that going to remove this program here also this one We're just going to remove some of these programs here. Now again, some of these programs are not 100% at removing everything. But if it helps um, to remove... Let's see here. Okay, I can see it on there. So I can remove that from the browser. So we're just going to remove some of these. And some of this rubbish. Okay, so while we're doing that, what I want to do next is go to the uh, Firefox one, and some of these need to be removed from Firefox. I definitely want to remove this, and I definitely want to remove that. Gonna get rid of that. going to go back to uh, programs and features and they should be able to uninstall
Okay, that's good. So what we want to do now is I'm going to use Revo Uninstaller to remove these last two programs that's not uninstalling properly. Okay, so this is Revo Uninstall, and what I want to do here is get rid of Reg Clean Pro. I'm going to uninstall that. Say yes. I'm going to do the advanced bit here and remove all the remnants of that program because the uninstall part in Windows wouldn't let me uninstall it. Let me just get rid of that. Go next here. I'm going to put the tick in all of these to remove all the registry keys and everything else. That's now finished. Also, I want to get rid of this as well. Come down to advanced. Okay, just get rid of that. Okay. So we should be pretty much in good shape right now. Let's uh get rid of this. to recycle okay so what I want to do now is run uh, Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes just to pull off any other remnants that may be left I'm going to just scan these up and we let that run As you can see these advertising sites, this is all due to them toolbars. Okay, we're just going to get rid of some of this stuff here. As you can see, sweet IM setup. That's the stuff we actually uh, did before. I'm just going to delete all this. I don't want to quarantine it, I want to delete it all. Get it all cut off the system completely. As you can see, we're going to delete all this stuff here. Push next. Okay, malware bytes are still going. Also, while that's running, be a good idea to run C Cleaner. Going to analyze this. Before I do that, I just want to make sure that we've got the. Uh... Okay, that's good. I want to make sure that ticks out. I'm going to run cleaner. Click OK here. We've got six. And you can see adware. Some other stuff going on. I'm going to remove all that. Wait to see clean is finished and I'll reboot the system.
Okay, so that's the scan now finished as you can see. It's cleaned all that off and now I'm going to quickly reboot to remove this stuff. Okay, so that's that one now gone. All we need to do here is change our name back to what we want. I'm just going to put this back to Google. There we go. So that's now all, that's all now clean. One last one here. And I can see there's one more here that we need to get rid of. So let's just have a look and find out what that is. Okay, so that's now VRE. So I'm going to remove this, try and find it again, just change the uh, back to Google. So we've just got to get rid of VRE, that's all the only thing we've got to get rid of now. I'm not sure whether that's inside there, let's have a look, it's this one here. This is not letting me remove it. Okay, we'll do that the manual way. So I think that's pretty much it for this video. As you can see, it took a bit of time to uh, remove those from the system. And that's because they're buried deep into the registry and everywhere else. So uh, I hope you enjoyed these videos. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button. Also, show your support and rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoyed them. And uh, I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.